very often investors are not comfortable investing in equities since they can be quite risky, especially over a short term. In such cases, you're much better off investing in debt funds. Today, I'm going to tell you what debt funds are and how they work. Debt funds invest in a combination of corporate bonds, government securities and other related instruments. This simply means that they lend money and earn interest. This interest is what is given to investors in the form of returns and it's precisely for this reason that debt funds are safer than equity instruments. Because debt securities have a fixed maturity date and pay a fixed rate of interest. The other thing to know is that the value of the bond is also an important earning mechanism from where a large part of the earnings come. While debt funds are safer than equity funds, it is important to remember that they are not entirely risk-free. The way there is a stock market where shares are bought and sold, there is also a debt market where bonds are bought and sold. And as a result, bond prices tend to rise and fall. The question then arises, why do bond prices move? While there could be several reasons for this, one of the main reasons is a change or expectation of a change in interest rates. Let's look at an example. Assume Bond A is paying out an interest of 9% a year and then the RBI cuts interest rates and as a result, a newer Bond B gets issued at 8%. So Bond A's price gets adjusted to the new interest rate of 8% by rising because it is now worth more than what it was before. So bond prices and interest rates are inversely related. If interest rates fall, bond prices rise. And conversely, if interest rates rise, the price of a bond would end up falling. The next question is, how do you decide which debt fund to invest in? There are a host of debt funds that are offered by asset management companies, but here's how you can decide which one to invest in. First of all, assess your asset allocation. One simple thumb rule to help you is that your equity allocation should be 100 minus your age. So if you're 30 years old, then 70% of your portfolio should be equity oriented and the balance debt. Next, zero in on your financial goal and based on that, assess your time horizon and risk appetite. There are different debt funds that invest in securities of different time horizons. For instance, liquid funds invest in highly liquid money market instruments and are ideal for short-term investments for a few days to a few months. Guild funds are extremely safe since they invest in government securities and are ideal for risk-averse investors. Corporate bond funds, on the other hand, invest largely in corporate bonds and offer a higher interest but are more risky. There are, of course, several options for you to choose from, but those were some basic factors that you need to consider before choosing the debt fund that you want to invest in. If you have any questions, do write in to us on pfcorner at bankbazaar.com. And if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to comment and share. Thanks so much for watching.